Hi, my name is Glenn Martinez, and I'm coming to you from Ola Mata Gardens. What we'd like to introduce you to here is called the Aquaport 2. It's an aquaponics portable system. This is the second version of this one. In this version, we've added a few features. Number one is the table. We no longer have to drill through the table in order to be able to transport the system. We can use a table at location, okay? So that's a big advantage. The other big advantage is we have gone to a double trace system. The double trace system is our biofilter. This is the top tray. This tray here, that has lots of holes in it. Like this tray, okay? Lots and lots of holes. This butt one will fit inside of a waterproof tray, like this. The waterproof tray has a sink drain on it, or a through hole fitting. You throw in some PVC fittings like this to support the weight of this sitting inside. That gives you a one inch air gap in between there. What you do now is put your cinder in here. When you pull the plug and drain this, the water's going to go straight down. There's no sideward migration at all in this system. So, what we have is the new double improved tray system. This, these trays are just a stand. Why? Because this whole system, folks, fits inside of this case. By using the trays and nesting one inside the other, I can make this super compact and fit it in there. What you're witnessing now is the siphon going off. The water pumped up here, it filled up to here, hit the trip point of the siphon, and the water is now coming out four times faster than it's going in. When it gets to the bottom of this piece of pipe here, this piece of pipe, when I remove it, notice the water stop. That because it let the air in. Well, I'm not going to run out here and put this pipe on and off. That pipe, when it's turned around here, when it's down here like this, when the water gets to here, it's going to let air in and break the siphon. So we call it an auto siphon or an air break siphon. So to recount it, the water gets a fish tank. My traveling case doubles as my fish tank when I'm doing a demonstration. You could use on a permanent setup any type of tank you wanted to. Okay? For larger, the better. Okay? Keep in mind that for every gallon of water you have in your fish tank, you can have a gallon of cinder. The advantage of the cinder, you can plant potatoes, carrots, onion, all the things that grow down in the cinder. And the, when the water comes through the siphon, it comes through the float tray. The float tray can be foam floats like this, and we use net pots. And net pots look like this. They fit in the foam, you drop them in, and the roots hang down in the water, okay? They can be one inch or two inch thick, anything in between. Alternatively, here at Olamana Gardens, we don't particularly like the foam so much. What we do is we make little plywood trays like this, and we drill a hole. Plywood that's a quarter inch thick here, half inch, three eighths, three quarter, whatever you can get your hands on, you cut it to fit the top, you drill the holes, and then you can set your plants in it in whatever space in it you want to do. So there you have it, folks. A traveling system, go anywhere in the world. This goes as luggage. I normally pay only $25 extra. It weighs under 70 pounds. So all of this goes all together, fits in there, close the lid. When I get there, I just borrow a six-foot table. I don't have to drill any holes in it. I set it up, and I'm good to go. If a person doesn't have a table, or they don't want to have it raised, this whole system would be sitting on the ground if this tank was in the ground. So if you took a horse trough or you took a plastic lining and you put it in the ground, this whole thing could be on the ground. How to power? Here I'm using an 80 watt panel from Costco. It's about a $280 system with a $50 battery on it. The solar charges up the battery. The battery has an inverter and I happen to be using a 110 volt pump. But you could be running it on 12 volt directly, just by a bilge pump, like for a boat. And it would do the same system. You only need three to 500 gallons per hour to have these systems work. How large can you be? Well, for every gallon of water you have in there, for every, actually, three gallons of water, one fish. Let's say this was a 90 gallon tank. You'd have 30 fish in it. If you had 30 fish, over here you could have 90 gallons of cinder. If these are five square foot each, or I mean, uh, uh, 10 gallons each one, that would be five of these trays, five cinder trays on a table out here. The pipe that goes down here that's connecting to the bottom of this orange bucket here could be extended and you could have as many of these you wanted, up to five. Over here, you can have one square foot of garden surface 
for every gallon of water. That's 90 square feet of gardening, folks. 90 square feet. If these are five square foot, each one, five into 90, that is a lot of trays stretching a long way. So it's a lot of nutrition. If you had 90 gallons and giving you 30 fish, that'd be fish about every other week. But if you went up to a 300 gallon fish tank, a average horse trough side, that'd be 100 fish. That would average out about two fish a week for a family. That would supplement their protein diet. This would give them their salad greens growing up. And over here in the center, all the root crops growing down. Anyway, we're pretty excited. The bucket is a major addition. The bucket allows you to add anything you want to on this side and add anything you want to on that side. This one, the water flows here, it moves horizontally, one right after the other. You only have to be level. On the ground or on a table, they just have to be level and the fish tank's gotta be lower then. Over here, these just have to be level. They don't have to be stacked up on trays like this. I just use these trays to make this whole thing compact to fit in a case. This could be on a box. It could be a separate stand. Anyway, siphon time again. I've just about pretty much cleared it up for you, I think. Hope you enjoy it.